بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear viewers in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this program of uh, the parables of Al-Quran, we are going to take one verse from Surah Ar-Ra'd. Now before I read that verse, this parable is about the truth and the falsehood. That uh, whenever there is uh, an encounter between the truth and the falsehood, between haq and batil, haq is going to last. And batil, the falsehood is going to fade away, is going to vanish. That is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, in this world, we know, yes, there is an encounter always between haq and batil. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that in that encounter, who is going to, to be victorious and uh, who is going to be defeated, this is, uh, this is the whole subject matter of this parable. So now let us take this parable first. Uh, let me read this ayah. That is ayah number 17 of Surah Al-Ra'd, which is Surah number 13 from Al-Quran. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem أَنْزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَسَالَتْ أَوْدِيَةٌ بِقَدَرِهَا فَاحْتَمَلَ السَّيْلُ زَبَدَ الرَّابِيَا وَمِمَّا يُوْقِدُونَ عَلَيْهِ فِي النَّارِ ابْتِغَاءَ حِلْيَةٍ أَوْ مَتَاعٍ زَبَدٌ مِثْلُهُ كَذَلِكَ يَذْرِبُ اللَّهُ الْحَقَّ وَالْبَاطِلِ فَأَمَّا الظَّبَدُ فَيَذْهَبُ جُفَاءً وَأَمَّا مَا يَنْفَعُ النَّاسَ فَيَمْكُثُ فِي الْأَرْضِ كَذَلِكَ يَذْرِبُ اللَّهُ الْأَمْثَالِ Now let us take uh, the translation of uh, this verse. He sends down water from the skies and the channels flow each according to its mayor. But the torrent bears away the foam that mounts up to the surface. Even so, from that ore which they heat in the fire to make ornaments or utensils therewith, there is a scum likewise. Thus doth Allah by parables show forth truth and vanity. For the scum disappears like froth cast out while that which is for the good of mankind remains on the earth. Thus doth Allah set forth parables. Now, with the translation, we got uh, a little bit of concept of the whole parable, in which it is said that uh, when it rains, and then the rain water flows from the mountains, and now it is flowing on the surface of the land, on that water you will see some foam. And a similar foam or scum happens when uh, a goldsmith tries to take uh, the golden ores and then heat them up in the fire to turn it into ornaments, into jewelry. In that, in that, uh, in that task, you will find scum coming out on that gold. Now, in both examples, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that what is going to benefit remains and what is not beneficial vanishes. Just like the foam in both cases, the foam on the surface of the water that clings to the trees, to the, to the edge of the river, it disappears. In the very same way, the scum which comes out on the golden ores, it is also vanishes and it is of no use at all. What is of use is the gold itself which has been heated up and which is turned into jewelry, which is turned into the ornaments. Now the example is very, very, very clear and that is the example of Haq and Batil when they encounter each other. كَذَلِكَ يَضْرِبُ اللَّهُ الْحَقَّ وَالْبَاطِلِ 
this is why Allah this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving the example of the falsehood and the truth when they encounter each other in the end if the haq is really haq then it is going to dominate and that what happened throughout the history you see all uh, the stories of the past which are given in al quran where there was were encounters between the prophets of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their people who did not accept that messages what happened in the end allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them vanish completely the stories of the people of the past the people of nuh alayhi salam the people of hud alayhi salam the people of salih alayhi salam the story of musa and pharaoh and then in the end the story of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and those people of makkah who rejected him who waged war against him who persecuted him so that was an encounter between haq and batil and in the end the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was standing in the plain of arafat after 23 years of labor of effort he was standing in the plain of arafat and there were 124000 companions standing before him he was addressing them and he was asking them have i conveyed the messages have i conveyed the message which i which i was given from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the answer comes from all of them yes you have conveyed you have done your duty and you have fulfilled the task which is given to you and at that time the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam raised his finger to the heaven saying allahumma fashhad Allahumma fashhad Allahumma fashhad Allah be a witness be a witness be a witness Now look at uh, at the whole case of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he started his mission in Mecca he was a single person and then this dawa started growing first one to believe in him his wife his friend Abu Bakr his uh, servant or slave zaid his cousin ali these are the people who were in the beginning just four persons and then this dawa started growing and multiplying and increasing until after 23 years time all those people who waged war against the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where they were there were battles badr and uhud the battle of trenches and so many other battles then the conquest of makkah in the end who was conquered who was uh, uh, who was the one who has won muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and where was the falsehood it has vanished completely now some people they say that the principle is the survival for the fittest this what they say but we say survival for the most beneficial which we understand from this ayah survival from the most beneficial because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said fa amma zabadu fa yadhabu jufaa wa amma ma yanfa'u an-nas fa yamkusu fil ard the scum it goes away it vanishes but as far as uh, the beneficial things fa yamkusu fil ard it is going to stay in the land that is the lesson of this parable so those people who are working for haq they should not be in the state of despair at all if you are standing with haq and true haq and you are striving for it you are standing for it you are working for it then believe that you will be victorious nobody can defeat you because that is the promises of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never fails his promises he is always true to his promises this is we people that we don't st- we don't stand for the real truth and this is why when we got failure in our life we always blame islam for that no we should have to blame ourselves because we may be failing the truths which is given to us 
Now, in the beginning of uh, this parable, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, mentioned about the rainwater, أَنْذَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَسَالَتْ أَوْدِيَةٌ بِقَذَرِهَا Now, the valleys, they have flown with the water according to their capacities. That is again a very good example which is given by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said that the example of the knowledge and the guidance which is given to me is just like the rain water. When it falls on the ground, there are some pieces of the land, some pieces of the land which are fertile. Now they absorb this water, and then they help the trees and the plants to grow. And of course, you know that. Uh, all your food is coming from from this earth so this is how you get your your li- uh, your your food and your livelihood and uh, there are some other pieces of land which are not fertile but still they contain the water when they contain the water people come and then they benefit from this water the cattle come and they drink from that water and then they is uh, a third type of land, that land which does not absorb the water, which uh, does not uh, even contain the water, and the water just flow from uh, from it, and then it disappears. These are the three groups of people, as far as the guidance, the knowledge which has come from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, which was introduced by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There are some people who absorb the knowledge. They get benefit to themselves and they do or they give benefit to others as well. Right from the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the scholars, to the people of the knowledge who take the knowledge and then who try to absorb it and benefit other people. On the other hand, there are other people who don't benefit a lot from the knowledge, but they become the carriers of knowledge. They become carriers of knowledge. They, they let other people benefit from it. They provide other people with the books, with the knowledge, with other means which can spread that knowledge. Still, they are doing a, a good work. But there are those people, the third type, they don't uh, get benefit from the knowledge. They don't provide the knowledge to the others. They don't help the people to get this knowledge. They wasted themselves and they wasted the other people as well. So these are the different shades of the same example coming in different types and different colors. And with this we come to the end of this program. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته